So another stable version of Oxygen OS is finally out for the Redmi Note 10 Pro users. Uh, the previous version was also good, but in that version, there were some minor bugs. And in this version, it's quite good in the terms of stability. You can give it a try if you want to. Of course, we're talking about the Oxygen OS 11, the Porti Room, and we have the Android version 11 as expectedly. The things which were not working in the previous build, as I previously mentioned you, in this version, those might work for you, and I think so, you can give it a try. Let's just quickly take a look at the default things straight away. We have the OnePlus devices, OnePlus launcher. This is not a color OS kind of things. One thing keep in mind as the latest OnePlus OSes now have the color OS. So color OS gallery, color OS camera, color OS, a lot more color OS things. But in this one, don't worry, we have the OnePlus launcher available with the pre-installed hydrogen and oxygen icon packs for you, which you can apply easily without having any issues. Let me show you one, two more things that you have all the things whichever you needed for example the swipe down to access notifications and quick settings icon pack home screen layout and a lot more things it's not a bad choice of course one thing which i just loved about this one is absolutely great is smoothness this is super smooth uh, I, as i am a multitasking user i always use multitasking if you know me from some time if you watch my videos from some time i always mention i love to use multitasking and this one is best ever in that one so far if you want to install it on a device where you are using geo or for example any room which needs volte support don't worry volte is working perfectly fine if you're able to see at my status bar volte 1 and volte 2 which means both sims dual volte is working pretty fine no issues from my side it's also a quite of good thing yes if we move on to the camera section, you have the Google Camera Go Edition pre-installed, which means you don't have the OnePlus camera, you don't have the normal stable Google camera, it's Google Camera Go Edition. Don't worry, it's working pretty fine if you want to check out the photo, video transfer. By the way, Google Camera Go Edition is the normal version, or lighter version of Google Camera, the main Google Camera modded versions, the lighter version is this one, which works good and a lot of users always use these things on their devices. I sometimes use this Google Camera Go Edition and in most of the custom rooms it is pre-installed right now it has the portrait mode photo mode everything whatever needed let me show you one two more thing for example if i click on photo if you're able to see the preview the preview is not changing it means the photo is not clicking i saw that option and i was wondering why it is not working there why it is not working there but then if we move on to the video section let me show you by clicking on video section and here as you can see now the video is showing but if i try to open that one photo option once again it is not showing here if i try to open that preview it will show me this error enable gallery go the gallery go application is not installed this is the major reason and that is not pre-installed for that you can simply install that from the google play store as you can see, I don't have any kind of Gallery Go pre-installed and I don't have installed from Google Play Store. So yes, move on to Play Store, install the Gallery Go and you're good to go. Very simple to fix this. Now talking about the safety net status, Magisk is not pre-installed by the way as in the previous Oxygen OS build, Magisk was pre-installed. So device was pre-rooted and some users was com were complaining about that because a lot of users don't want to root your devices. In this one, you don't have Magisk pre-installed, you can use it without Magisk and safety status should pass of course. But after installing Magisk, as I always use sometimes Magisk because I need to use some modules, it's working pretty fine. Safety status does not have any kind of issues in my case, you can use all the banking apps. Other things as this is not a custom room like a USB custom room like Evolution X OS, Dot OS or whichever custom room you want to as it does not have any kind of customizations. Let's just talk about the, quickly the things which you have. For example, the face unlock. The face unlock is just working perfectly fine. No issues in face unlock. The animation at the notch, or the camera notch was working perfectly great. I tried that. The face lock works pretty charm, including that if we move on to the one other option called display and screen refresh rate, the previous build had issues as you can't switch into 60 hertz as if you don't want to use the 120 hertz. But in this one, you don't have any kind of issues with that 120 hertz 60 hertz both working perfectly fine so yes it's kind of a stable build and yes if you want to give it a try you can there might be some minor bugs which you can explore but normally you can use it on your device if you want to this is all link is in the description installation tutorial is also in the description goodbye have a nice day
over the edge Feel like I'm floating through 